video contest. Discover Magazine. Evolution in 120 seconds or less. Go. First, let's talk about theories and facts. The colloquial use of the word theory, like a theory about why your car won't start, or a conspiracy theory, or like the theory I have about how I got this rash on my... It's not quite the same thing as a scientific theory, such as atomic theory, or germ theory, or the theory of electromagnetism. To a scientist, a theory is something that explains and interprets facts. Facts and theories are not superior or inferior to each other. So anyone who says evolution is only a theory probably doesn't understand the difference or is hoping that you don't. And unfortunately, there is a lot of bad information floating around out there. So before I talk about what evolution is, let me clarify what it is not. Evolution has nothing to do with how the universe started or where it came from. That's cosmology. Evolution also has nothing to do with how life started. That's abiogenesis. Abiogenesis, by the way, is not the same thing as spontaneous generation. Spontaneous generation, debunked. Abiogenesis, active area of research. Here's what evolution does say. One, things reproduce with variation. Two, some organisms will have more offspring than others. Three, those offspring tend to resemble their parents. In technical terms, there are only three requirements in order for evolution to occur. Variation, heritability, and differential reproductive success. If you've got those three things, bingo! You've got evolution. Evolution, as understood by biologists today, specifically refers to the modern evolutionary synthesis, which is a combination of natural selection combined with our growing understanding of genetics. It has been over 50 years since Watson and Crick and Franklin and Wilkins determined the structure of DNA. By now, there are literally millions of pieces of evidence from fields as diverse as paleontology, molecular biology, comparative anatomy, embryology, and geography. So why are scientists so confident that the theory is true? It is possible to systematically track variations in organisms and construct a phylogenetic tree, also known as a tree of life looks a lot like your family tree. And this can illustrate when and where variations appear throughout the generations. A phylogenetic tree based on protein sequences will overlap with one based on bone structure, which in turn correlates with one based on embryological development, which happens to follow the same branching pattern as one based on geographic distribution. Any one of them alone could be a very strong argument, but the fact that they all agree with each other pretty much seals the deal. Evolution is the change in genetic frequencies over time, and this process of variation has given rise to the unity and diversity of living things that we see today. Understanding evolution is important because it is the foundation of modern biology. To the extent that one wants to understand living things, an understanding of evolution by natural selection is important. Unfortunately, some people have objections to the theory that are not based on evidence or the scientific method. Be careful when you hear phrases like teaching both sides or the strengths and weaknesses of evolution. While scientists may disagree about some of the underlying details of how evolution works, there is no debate whatsoever in the scientific community that evolution is a fact and the theory of evolution is how we understand it.